close neighbors to the national park are the Bachiga, the Bafumbira, and the Batua tribes. Many of them were dependent on forest resources for wood, hunting, and cultivation. But it is the Batua Pijmis, the original inhabitants of the forest, that were most affected following the eviction from the forest after it was gazetted as a national park. After the evictions in 1964, the people had to get other means of survival. Aminati plantation in Bohoma, next to the windy impenetrable forest. Generally, the windy community grows tea, they make arts and crafts, and they grow trees to meet the demand for the wood carvings. Today, many appear to respect the park and show restraint in the use of its resources. But the biggest problem are the constant raids by the gorillas on their gardens like this banana plantation. Speaking to NTV, the natives say that the Uganda Wildlife Authority does not compensate them. A few have even threatened to poison the Alps. There is no barricade between the forest and the villages. So we have what we call the Human Gorilla Conflict Resolution Group. They are volunteers, so they, they keep on pushing the gorillas whenever they come outside the park. We would want people to grow crops, that are of economic importance to them, yet they will deter the coming out of the gorillas. However, the majority of residents are happy to be neighbors with the gorillas thanks to the goodies brought by tourists. Even the Batois, who had remained landless laborers after the forest got gazetted, now have a place they call home. The Windy Community Health Center survives mainly on donations from tourists. Even the Windy Orphans Development Center is thriving on the generosity of tourists. The area has gravitational running water and several community development programs are in progress. But while the park is conserving the mountain gorillas, the Batwa's extensive knowledge about wild animals and plants is threatened unless their way of life is restored or their knowledge documented in books. Agnes Asimwe, NTV, tonight.